Hi, in the previous tutorial, we create a lifelink workspace and create a module in it. In this tutorial, I delete the module so that I can start from scratch. So in this tutorial, we're gonna create a lifelink service builder module in it. So for this, right click new and lifelink module project. I already created a table employee with two columns employee ID and name. So I just map it. Provide the project name as employee service and select service builder. Click next. Provide the package name. And click finish. It may take some time. So in this, we create an employee service and two sub project in this. So first let me just provide this as a flat. So look, there are three projects, employee service, employee service API and employee service service. So let me show you in my folder. And look it's a parent and in this there are two projects so open service.xml and it's a default entry so let me just delete this default entry Click on overview, click on add button, provide the entity name, employee, check local service, uncheck remote service, provide the table name. Now first field is employee id which is of type int and it's a primary key. Second field is name oops I need to provide namespace also. I provide namespace is Aditya and that's it. So now we have one parent project and two child project. So I need to use the parent project. So I am using build or gradle of parent project. So open employee service and click on build services so it build successfully now just click on the project right click gradle and the refresh gradle project And look
this API contain all the interfaces and this contain all the IMPL classes. So let me just deploy this so that other project can use these services. Double click on deploy. Open server console. And look, both are started. So you can open Google Shell here, or you can use command prompt. So I'm opening here, LB, and look, 495 and 496 are our services. So that's it. In the next tutorial, we try to consume these services. Thanks for watching.